You are God's creature, designed for glory. You are not designed for shame. Return it back in Jesus' name. I rebuke the devil. God is a God of mercy. When you understand that God is a God of mercy, you are a creature of intention. God created you intentionally. Get set for a moment of empowerment with your host, Benjamin Beckley. Praise be to the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center in Arlington, Texas, USA, welcoming you especially to another wonderful, life-transforming episode of Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. Thank you so much for tuning in to this broadcast today. I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. To all our numerous callers, thank you for all your calls. It has been impactful. It has been an encouragement. We want to thank you also for all your support. And to everyone that is spreading the news about Moment of Empowerment, God bless you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to specially appreciate all our TV partners and everyone that has been supporting this broadcast via all your donations. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Through your generous and numerous new donations, we have been able to reach out to the world with the word of God that has been bringing forth great testimonies all over the world. It is my prayer that you will not miss your reward in the precious name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will continue to use this broadcast to be a blessing to you, to uplift you, to change your story, and to change your level in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, to everyone watching me today, in case you desire to be a part of our TV partners, you are welcome. You can partner with us as we take the word of God to the world. The information will be right on the screen. You can learn how you can partner with us. You can do a one-time donation or you can do a monthly donation of any amount as you are blessed of the Lord. Our passion, our cry, and our heart desire is to ensure that God's word reach the world and it is impacting the world. You can partner with us, call the number on the screen if you need more information and we shall surely be there to receive your call and to feed you with more information as you can partner with us as we take the word of God to the world. Now, in case this is your first time of tuning into this broadcast, I want to welcome you. Moment of Empowerment is a revolutionary and a prophetic broadcast that is designed to empower you towards taking your rightful place in destiny. You are not created by mistake. You are created intentionally by God because he has a good agenda for your life. However, you cannot take your place until you are empowered. Jesus told his disciples to tarry in Jerusalem until they have been endowed with power from on high. Though they are to go out and preach the gospel, they are to witness unto him, but he would not allow them go without having them empowered. So empowerment positions you to achieve results on time. That is why we need to be empowered in order for us to be able to take our rightful place in destiny. And there is nothing that empowers more in life like God's word. God's word is a supernatural channel for empowerment. The Bible speaking says the word of God is quick, active, and powerful. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. So God's word is powerful. It's loaded with power. When you connect with God's word, it infuses power into you in order to become all that you have been designed to become in life. I pray today that as you listen and as you watch this broadcast, by the word of God, fresh endowment, supernatural enablement to rise beyond the limit, to break new boundaries, to enter into a season of breakthrough unlimited will be released upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Now, right before we go into God's word today, I would like to invite you to the Empowerment Center. The Empowerment Center is a multicultural, non-denominational, world-based church of God. We are always referred to as the church with a difference. Our assignment is to ensure that you are empowered in order to become all that God has designed you to become, achieve all that God has in mind for you to achieve, and also impact your world positively. You can be a part of any of our life-transforming services. On Thursdays, we meet 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., and on Sundays, we meet 10 a.m. to 12 noon. All our services are power-loaded. The address is right on the screen. You can also call the number if you need to know more. You can also call for prayers. We are passionate about ensuring that you enjoy the best of God. Call the number for prayers. We are here to pray with you. We are here to pray for you. And God will surely answer our prayers over you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, glory be to God. Now, today, we shall be looking into God's word that will bring transformation into our life. And today, I'm going to start a series that I've entitled, You and Your Tongue. You and Your Tongue. I'd like to start by sharing this with you. I discovered revelationally that everything that God has placed in man is designed for the positive advancement and advantage of that man. Whatsoever God has placed in you, everything that God formed with you, they are not there to destroy you, but rather they are there to advance you. God created the ears that we may be able to hear. If we cannot hear, we may not do the right, we may not be able to do the right thing. God gave us the eyes to see. Because if you cannot see, you cannot seize it. God gave us the nose to be able to perceive. Every part of the human body is given for the advantage and also to the advancement of everybody. And one of these major things that God has given unto us is the tongue. I'd like you to understand that everything created with you and created in you is to walk to your advantage. In Psalm 139, verse 13 to 15. Psalm 139, verse 13 to verse 15. The Bible says, For thou hast possessed my reins, thou art covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous I thy works, and my soul knoweth it right. My substance was not eat from thee when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest part of the earth. So what is the scripture telling us? The scripture is telling us something, that we have been made wonderfully. We have been designed with wonder. And everything that God had created in us, they have been created to bring forth the wonders in us. Glory to God. I know as I speak to you today that the wonder in you will manifest for the world to see in the precious name of Jesus. So everything God created in us is designed to advance our life. One of such things, the instrument is the tongue. Yes, your tongue my tongue is given to us by God, placed in us by God to advance our life. Tongue is a powerful instrument. However, it is what you do with it and how you use it that determines what you get from it. Your tongue is powerful, but it is what you do with it and how you utilize it that determines what you will get from it. In life, you can move forward by utilizing your tongue. You can also step backward by utilizing your tongue. Your tongue can bring you into problem. Your tongue can bring you out from problem. Your tongue can draw blessings to you. Your tongue also can attract curses to you. It is all a function and a matter of what you do with it and how you utilize it. Now, tongue is 
powerful and it is designed to affect our life. It can either bring advancement to you or it brings retrogression to you. Your tongue, no matter what you use it for and no matter how you use it, it is designed to affect your life. It can either affect your life positively or it affects your life negatively. My assignment today is to unveil through scriptures what you have power to do with your tongue and how your tongue can advance and affect your life. Now, if you have the Bible with me, let's look at the scripture, James chapter 3, verse, 12, verse 2 to 12. James chapter 3, verses 2 to verse 12. It's a pretty long scripture, but in this text of the Bible, we want to draw out some revelations that will open our understanding to the truth about you and your tongue. The Bible says, for in many things we offend all. If a man offend not in word, that same man is a perfect man and is able to bridle the whole body. Behold, we put bits in us's mouth that they may obey us. We turn about their whole body. We also the she, which though they be so great, they are driven of four fierce wind, yet they are turned about with a very small air, whatsoever the governor listed. Verse 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasted great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindle. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defies the whole body, set on fire the course of nature, and it set on fire of air. For every kind of beast, of birds, of serpent, and of things in the sea is tamed and had been tamed of mankind. Verse 8, but the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly, it's an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith we bless God, even the Father. Therewith also we curse men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Doth a fountain sent forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Verse 12, finally. Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Either a vine figs, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. Now, if you have followed this text of the Bible, you will have discovered how the scripture has unveiled to us what the tongue can make happen in the life of a man. Your tongue can bless you. Your tongue can curse you. However, let's take it one after the other as we break this text down into pieces on some scriptural insight we can get in this text of the Bible in relation to you and your tongue. Number one thing I saw from this text of the Bible is this, that if you can control your tongue, you can control your life. If you can control your tongue, you can control your life. When you look at verse 2 to 4, the Bible says, In many things we offend, but if a man will not offend in word, then that same man is perfect. Verse 3 says, We can put bear bites on us mouth so that we can have them obey us. We can turn the whole body of our earth because we have been able to tame the tongue. He said also, a sheep is great, but it is only driven or turned by a very small arm. So this is telling us that our tongue serves as the control tower for our life. Our tongue serves as the control tower for our lives. If you can control your tongue, you can control your life. However, to misuse the tongue is to misrule our life. When we misuse the tongue, we misrule our life. In Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 23, look at what the Bible says here. Proverbs 21 and verse 23. Bible says, Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue keeps his soul from trouble. I love that one. Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue 
keeps his soul from trouble. So therefore, if I can keep my tongue, I can keep my life. But if I misuse my tongue based on the scripture, I invite trouble into my life. So there are so many troubles we can avoid. There are so many situations we can escape if only we do understand how to control our tongue. May I say this? You necessarily don't have to talk every time. You don't necessarily have to say what you want to say at every moment. There are things that many people have said that have landed them in trouble. When you lose control of your tongue, you easily lose control of your life. I realize that to lose control of the tongue is to lose control of the entire life. Just like we can tame our horse to turn his whole body. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 3, Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 3, he that keeps his mouth keeps his life. You see the same thing. Whosoever can keep his mouth can keep his life. But he that open his mouth wide shall have destruction. Oh my God. If you can keep your tongue, you can keep your life. If you can keep your tongue, you can keep your future. But whosoever openeth his mouth wide, Bible says, such a person shall end in destruction. I love the way the Message Bible puts this particular verse of the scripture. Proverbs 13 verse 3. In the Message Bible, the Bible says, careful words make a careful life. Uh, careful words makes a careful life. It's a careless talk may ruin everything. Careful words makes a careful life. Careless talk brings ruin. So if you will keep your tongue, you can keep your life. It's a very, very great point to hold on to. You got, we need to learn how to control our tongue in order to control our life. I pray for you today. Whatever situation you are that your tongue has put you there, the grace of God is bringing you out right now in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, number two revelation I got from this text of the Bible, we read James chapter 3. I saw that even though the tongue is little, it can make great and generate great results. Though the tongue is little, it can make great. It can open up the door of greatness. It can open up access to great places. The Bible says in verse 5 of James chapter 3, it said, even so the tongue is a little member, it boasts of great things. It said, behold, how great a matter, a little fire kindleth. And the Bible says the tongue is the fire. How great a matter, even though the tongue is little, it can bring us into our place of greatness. I, I'm excited about this because you can actually use your tongue to open doors for you. You can use your tongue, your confessions, your word, your declaration, your utterances to put yourself from the lowest part of life into the greatest part of life. I saw that the tongue is so powerful that it can change circumstances, it can reposition destinies, in the place of greatness. It can bring out from the place of littleness in the place of nothingness and put in the place of greatness. Something happened while Jesus was on the cross about to give up the ghost. The Bible says in Luke chapter 23, verse 39 to verse 43. Luke 23, verse 39 to verse 43. Something happened. Jesus was on the tree. On the tree, on the side, there were two thieves, one on the right, one on the left. All two have done something they were guilty of. But the two of them engaged their tongue. One tongue landed somebody else in the place of greatness, and the other tongue could not help him. The Bible says one of the male factor, which was hanged on him, said, if you are Christ, save yourself. And save us. Is that if you are Christ, save yourself and save us. Like a word of reproach, a word of ridicule, 
If you are Christ, you call yourself Christ, then save us and save yourself too. But the other one in verse 40, the Bible says the other one rebuked him. And look at what that one said. He said, Does thou not fear God, seeing that thou art in the same condemnation? We indeed are justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man had done nothing. And he said unto Jesus, verse 42, Lord, remember me when thou come into thy kingdom. Mm. Remember me when thou come into thy kingdom. Verse 43, and Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. What, 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 what an end of the day breakthrough for this man. At the point where he was condemned about to die, he was able to use his tongue, even though it was little, to bring himself into a place of greatness. And somebody is saying, how did I know? Because Jesus said, today you shall be with me in paradise. That means where I am, you will be there. You may not qualify because you have done something wrong, but because you've used your tongue positively. And how did I know? The first one was issuing a voice of condemnation. A voice of reproach, if you are Christ, save yourself and save us. But the second one recognized something different. It said, we have received the reward for what we have done. But this man had not done something. But he used his tongue to confess him as Lord. The Bible says, and he said, Lord, remember me. Oh, glory to God. He used his tongue to call him Lord. He used his tongue to call him Lord. And the Bible says, with our mouth, we make confession unto salvation. No wonder he was saved. He was able to use his little tongue to bring himself into the place of greatness with God. Can you imagine what it means to be with Jesus in paradise? He said, today, you will be with me in paradise. You can use your tongue to change your level. You can use your tongue to change your situation. You can use your tongue to change your circumstances. Just like Darby, I mean, the Bartholomeus, the blind man. In Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52, Bartholomeus, the blind man, he could not see. But thank God he could speak. May I say something to somebody? I, I just feel like encouraging you. Stop focusing on what you don't have. Stop condemning yourself because of what you don't have. But start engaging what you do have. He could not see, but he could speak. And because he understood that even though I could not see, I can still use what I have left. Value what you have left. Make the best use of what you have left. And if you have lost anything, don't let your mouth be kept short when there is a solution, when there is an opportunity. He saw Jesus was passing by. He could not see he had that Jesus was passing by. And the Bible says, he cried that Jesus Christ, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And the Bible says, the people that are around him told him to keep quiet. They were also engaging their tongue to keep him short. But this man realized that I know I can use my tongue to change my condition. Glory to God. And he cried out loud more. And Jesus stood still. Jesus said, call him for me. And when he came to Jesus, Jesus said, what will you have me do for you? And he said, that I may see. And immediately, his sight was restored. He used his tongue to change his level. That's why I'm praying for you today. That the right word to say that will change your condition. May God put it in your mouth. The right statement to make that will bring you into a place of greatness. That will draw favor to you. May God put it in your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ, when you need to speak to connect with greatness in life, may you not be muted in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to continue from there, but let me first, in, let me introduce to you at this point, one of my best-selling book. This book has been a blessing to people all over the world, in different nations of the world, entitled Help from All Side. It's a revelation-loaded book talking about how you can connect with help, and some of the things you will learn from it is how you can engage your tongue to connect with help in your life. It's available on Amazon. 
in print version and also ebook version. You can place an order for yours, buy for, place an order for a friend, it will be a great blessing to them. And you can also call the number on the screen if you would like to place a request for your own copy. And you shall surely be blessed of the Lord in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now, let me share one more revelation with you from that text of the Bible. Remember, we are talking about you and your tongue. And one other thing I saw from this text of the Bible is that your tongue can either make your life better or make your life bitter. Your tongue can either draw blessing to you or attract curses to your life. Look at verse 10, James chapter 3. The Bible says, out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. It said, but these things ought not to be so. These things ought not to be so. In the next episode, I will be sharing with you what you should be doing with your tongue. How you can use your tongue to change your condition. But understand between before I go that your tongue is a life navigator. It can either bring blessing to you or attract curses into your life. It plays a significant role in determining what you experience in your life. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 20 and 21, the Bible says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lip shall he be filled. So whatever you are singing, you'll be filled with it. Verse 21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So it means, therefore, with your tongue, you can bring life. With your tongue, you can bring death. The question is, is what are you doing with your tongue? Are you killing with it? Or are you bringing life with it? I will share more with you in the next broadcast. You don't want to miss next, next week because it's going to be a great blessing to you. But right before I go... I would like to invite you to the Empowerment Center. Be part of any of our life transforming services. The address is right on the screen. You can also call in for prayers. On Thursdays, we meet 7 p.m. On Sundays, we meet 10 a.m. Call the number for prayer right away. We are here to pray with you and to bless your life. I pray for you this week that you will encounter favor like never before. Uncommon help and assistance in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone sick, you are healed in Jesus' name. Till I come your way again next time, stay empowered and keep empowering others. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Watch us every week at the same time for your moment of empowerment. Visit us online at wordrevival.org or call us at 972-639-1762. Or stop by and see us at 838 Secretary Drive, Arlington, Texas.